at nagbabalik ang NCAA Season 91 dito lang sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action. Letran kontra San Sebastian. San Sebastian, San Sebastian lamang ng 45-39. Excited na akong makita ang pep rally ng San Sebastian ngayon. At ito na ang inaabangan natin. Gusto niyo ba makita kung gano'ng kataas ang kanilang school spirit? Sa pagbaba ng telon, sila ang mga muka na dapat abangan sa team ng San Sebastian Stags. Katatapos pa lang ng ulan pero di naging hadlang para dumugin ang center court ng baste. Sa bawat paghampas at pagpalo ng tambol, lahat excited! Makita lang ang mga hinahanga ang miyembro ng stats. Maraming abangan niyo mga estudyante. Nagugulat sila. Mga campaign na hindi nakikita, hindi nakikita, hindi nila alam sa mga players. Pero bago pa man ipakilala, pinakita muna sa lahat ang cheer ng baste. Nang makumpleto na ang pagtuturo, Pinakilala na isa-isa ang basketball team. Kaya nasabi ko ninyo, ang pagbibigyan ko ng maganda laban ng basketball na sa aming ex-CEO Elementary, high school, at college, buo ang suporta. May basketball challenge ba, pero with a twist. Hindi pa natapos ang pasikat, nagpakita pa ang stands ng moves. Oh, kita niya na, hindi lang sa basketball at sa ibang games magaling ang San Sebastian, pati na rin sa sayaw. Bravo Baste! Marami pa kaming aabangan ng moves nyo inside the court. Makisali na kayo dito sa NCAA Trending. Mapa-selfie or group fee, just post that and tweet your NCAA Season 91 experience sa ABS-CBN Sports social media accounts. Mapas school events, school spirit, at hard court action, makikita lahat yan sa NCAA Trending. Bravo, Baste! Bravo, Coach Rodney! Talaga namang kasing init ng pep squad nyo ang game na to at ang energy ng players nyo. Kaya guys, huwag nyo kalimutan ang hashtag natin. Hashtag NCAA Season 91 at hashtag CSJLPSSSTR para sa larong ito. Yan, for more analysis, for more heated games, dito lang yan sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action.
Kami po yung nagbabalik dito sa loob ng arena sa lungsod ng San Juan para sa continuing coverage ng ABS-CBN Sports ng NCA Season 91. Attention all PLDD home and smart subscribers. Enjoy entertainment everywhere with the country's biggest selection of videos on demand from iFlix. Just visit iFlix, that's I-F-L-I-X dot com and start your complimentary 14-day trial today. Sa magandang hapon, Pilipinas, at sa mga kapamilya natin na nunod all over the world via the Filipino channel, Andre Felix, reporting for duty, kasama nga ang aking idolo na si Coach Olsen, Rara Rasela. Coach, ang ganda ng panimula nitong letran, takbuhan, the usual letran play, but San Sebastian was able to slow it down, kaya nakuha naman nila ang kalamangan at the half, 45 to 39. Well, so far, it has been the Jamil Ortuz this show para dito sa San Sebastian Stags. 19 points so far in the first half. Last uh, game, he struggled only with 9 points at talo sila doon. Pero ito, lamang sila with him scoring 19 points. Tinan natin ang ating uh, stats at the half. 6 of 10 mula sa labas itong uh, San Sebastian. And it was Ortuzte with having 5 of those 6 three-pointers for Coach Rod Santos. Yes, so far from the outside, napakaganda linalaro ng uh, San Sebastian Stags. Um, 6 out of 10 from 3. Free throws, ang Letran mas uh, agresibo sa kanila, getting 15 attempts compared to 5 only for the Stags. Pero ito, second chance points. Ito yung isang bagay na si tingin ni Coach Rodney na lamang nila. Once they break that press, and I think they've been doing a relatively good job against breaking that press, if uh, ilalim ang hinahalap ni Coach Rodin. So far, 14 second chance points for the Stags. At turnovers, uh, very big 20. Normally, sa isang game mo makikita yung uh, <laughs> turnover na yan ni Coach Rodin. Kaya kanina, relatively good lang ang sinasabi ko sa kanila. Uh, 20 uh, turnovers for uh, the Stags. And ito, yung shot chart na sinasabi natin. Ang San Sebastian, 53% Grabe, no? from the field. 17 of 32. Kaya naman, uh, puro blue marks ang makikita nyo dyan sa San Sebastian. Uh, sa letra naman, 40%, uh, 12 of 30. Uh, pero again, sinasabi na, it has been the John or Tuesday, uh, Jamil or Tuesday show, especially from the outside. 5 out of 6 for uh, Jamil or Tuesday. And ito, scoring for uh, letra. You have uh, Nambatak, 13 points. All coming from uh, the first quarter lamang. You have Cruz with 9 coming off the bench and Soliano with uh, 8. At titingnan naman natin itong San Sebastian na binabanggit mo nga, si Jam Ortuzte. Kahit hindi pa gumagawa si uh, Ryan Costello who averages 16 points per game. But Jam Ortuzte with 19 already here at the half. 11 naman para Mike Kalisaan who's stepping in and stepping in big time para dito kay Brad Ginto saddled with 3 personal fouls. Yes, Kalisaan having 11 points and 6 rebounds. So, mm -hmm. magandang uh, uh, palita ng uh, ginawa nitong quality minutes for uh, Kalisaan uh, in place of uh, Brad Ginto. Binagalan nga ni Coach Rodney Santos. Alam naman natin na itong letran walang ibang gustong gawin yan kundi tumakbo. Sabi ni Coach Rodney nung nakausap natin siya sa dugout bago tayo magsimula sa ating laro. Gusto niyang bagalan yung laro. Ayaw niyang sumabay sa fast pace na itong letran which what they did in the second quarter. Pero ito na. Third quarter underway. Soliano starts off firing for Letran. No go. A battle for the rebound. And back in is the big boy, Brad Ginto. Nahihirapan. Nagahanap ng kakampi. And he was forced oh, yeah. to committing a traveling violation there. Sayang yun. Again, good defensive stop. By, uh, ganun din nangyari nung, uh, nung uh, first half. Ano? Ganda ng mga depensa nitong uh, San Sebastian Stags because there's no defense. The problem is with the op offense naman nila, the turnovers, 20 for them in that first half. Pero kagulat-gulat, Dre, kahit dun sa 20 turnovers nila, yun nga, sila pa lamang dito sa game at 45 to 39. Ryan Costello tinawagan ng second personal foul. He just has two points today. Uy, ang ganda naman ng galaw ni Mark Cruz. Everything but the shot. And again, yun yung mga easy putbacks na namimintis uh -huh. itong letran kanina pa. Ang daming ganyan na alam mo, sure two points na. Lumalabas nga lang para sa letran. Costello na itawid ang bola. Gito, binalik kay Costello. Jam or Tuesday, patuloy ba ang pag-init niya? In and out. Dalawa lang minimintis sa tres ni uh, Ortuste and Costello with the offensive rebound. Foul ang itatawag 
kay Jom Soliano, pangalawan. Jom, at unang team foul ng Letran dito sa third quarter. Itong si Ryan Costello nga will head to the line. Sabi ni Jam Ortuste, itong si Ryan Costello, ang biruan nila. Tinatawag niya si Costello, nakilabot ng Marikina. Nagabarang ka Marikina yan, si Ryan Costello. Seventh leading scorer in the NCAA, Coach Arik Del Rosario, na perpetual help altas. Watching today. Still, wala pang talo ang blemish ng record ng Perpetual, 4-0. Ito yan si Coselo. He's actually the leading scorer for uh, San yes. Sebastian after uh, three games uh, with 16.33 uh, uh, points per game. Pero so far in this game, eh, two points pa lang siya. But, you know, interestingly, itong si Coselo, yung most of his points, eh, sa second half niya ginagawa. In their uh, first, in their first win, actually all of his 15 points came I, from the fourth half, sec, for, particularly fourth quarter. So, uh, medyo big time scorer to si Costello sa end game. Naayan yung muna si Ortiz de Mawa, mintis nga lang si Jamil Don. Luib na hanap si ng bata. There's one man to beat, and Fabian nat nadapado na tung si ng bata. Ay. At mukhang ba tatawagan ng foul, ng technical foul itong si Coach Alvin Ayo. And oh, kinuha niya yung salamin ng kanyang assistant coach at binigay sa ating officials dito for taunting our Pero official. Pero ito yung kinakagalit ni uh, oh, Coach Alvin Ayo. Na foul na itong uh, si ng bata. Oh. Resentment to a non-call. Resentment to a non sa sabi ng ating uh, call si Barker na itong si uh, Rolly Manlapas. Tingnan natin kung mahanap natin doon yung replay yung ginawa niya. Natataka ko, anong gagawin niya? Ba't niya kinuha yung salamin ng kanyang assistant coach, ng coaching staff? Ito, uh, this is their uh, fourth game, Dre, and slowly nakikila, nakikita na natin, nakikilala natin si Coach Aldin Ayo. Kanin, uh, so far in three games, kita mo tatahita himik lang siya sa side. Cool na cool. Oh, Tatangitin natin yung slow mo. Maraming salamat, D Director Alneri, ng Batak. Wala. <laughs> Medyo na off balance. Oh. Oh. Wala eh. Tama naman ang officialist natin si Luro doon na sabi niya hindi naman na daba parinihinga ni Mark Cruz at nitong uh, coaching staff ng Letran, yung coach Alden Ayo. Sabi niya nadapa daw itong si uh, Nambata. Na, nadapa nga pero sa sarili niya naman. Oh, <laughs> uh, hindi, hindi. Na, hindi yun na da, da, uh, dahil sa kanyang opponent. Jerry Fabian, nakaanak mga puwang all the way for Fabian. Jerry Fabian. Hinawa 7 points for Coach Rodney. And first time na nakita natin itong Letran down by uh, 10 dito sa second half in this uh, young season season na uh, 91 ng NCAA double digits na ang kalamangan pinakamalaking kalamangan ng San Sebastian 49-39 ng Batak going all the way still no call by our officials bola ay babalik sa San Sebastian and furious itong they have to be careful if your coach Alden Ayo in the bench of Letran. Here's that slow mo again. Sabi nga ni Coach Rodney, dapat uh, traveling daw yun. Pero bola ng San Sebastian. And good call by the ref. I think last touch talaga doon. Si, good no uh, call by the officials actually. Pero naagaw, nasundot doon ni Mark Cruz. Off and running, he is ahead. At Mark nakita siya ni Mcjur Louis. Mark Cruz, just 11 points today. Costello, kapitawan ng bola, Mcjur Louis. At yun nga yung press defense na ina-employ nitong Letran. Luwip, nahanap si Mark Cruz ng Batak. Driving. And the pass, makapupunta dito kay Felix Aprigo. Aprigo, nakiwan ni Jom Soliano. Luwip has all day to shoot. And Ginto, off and running. Ito si Mike Calisan na natapik ni Mark Cruz. Costello, Costello, threading the needle. Costello, mabipitawan ng bola. Sabi ni Coach Rodney Santos doon, pag natawid na natin yung bola, relax lang. Let's set up our offense. Lubog natin sabayan yung fast-paced offense ng Letran. That is not how we play. This fast play of the game is brought to you by Smart. Live the smart life. Mark Cruz all the way for his 11th point today. Okay, tama yung sinabi mo, Dre. Gusto rin natin Coach Rodney is to slow the game down. Oh, okay. Nabibreak nila yung press, pero after they break the press, medyo nagmamadali na sila. Nanggigigil sila, no? Yes. Pag nakakita ng puwang, bigla nilang sasabayan yung opensa. And dahil dun sa gigil na yun, yun yung nagkakosa yung mga turnovers nila. Maraming salamat kay Alisa. 
Derrada, El Capitan, kayang-kaya yan. Mark Cruz mula sa labas. Sabi naman ni Luis, paus na kami. Ako din. Mark Cruz, nahanap si Nambatak all the way. Hinabol ni Ginto. Pero two points para kay Nambatak. Full court press pa rin ang i-employ nila. And I think it was a wise decision by Bradwin Ginto not to challenge the shot. Dahil alam natin na tatlong pass na ito si Bradwin Ginto. Ginto, nahirapan doon. At medyo nagkakagulo itong opensa ni Coach Rodney Santos. Kaya nga tatawag siya ng timeout on the floor. Pinakamalaking kalamangan nila was at 10. Pero napako sila sa 49. So it was a 4-0 run by Letran cutting this deficit to 6. Kami po yung magbabalik dito lamang sa ABS-CBN Sports in Action. Balik ang NCAA Season 91 dito lang sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action. Kasama ko ngayon ang dating player ng San Sebastian na si CJ Perez. CJ, gusto ka naman? Um, I'm good, okay lang. Ngayon, CJ, curious lang kami, no? Um, paano mo nababalanse ang basketball and studies nung time na, na player ka pa? Um, Siyempre, kasi pag gising mo ng umaga, kailangan mo mag-workout agad. Then, pagdating ng hapon, kailangan mag-aaral din kasi kailangan din naman para dun sa para ka mapaglaro. So, kung meron kang pinaka-importante ang mga natutunan nung naglalaro ka pa sa San Sebastian, ano ang mga ito? Ang um, natutunan ko sa Baste, ano, discipline, tsaka teamwork, tsaka kung paano magsama-sama yung buong team, kung mga parang family na din talaga. That's good to hear, CJ. Thank you for that. Back to you, Coach Olsen. At salamat din kay CJ Perez. He is all good, sabi niya. Or Tuesday, wala sa labas. And after having a smoking start para kay Jam or Tuesday, medyo lumamik from the outside ng Sir Tuesday, Kocho. Yes, this is going to be a crucial uh, stage para dito sa San Sebastian uh, Stags. Dahil uh, after going up by 10, ito na iba pa na yan ng uh, Letran ang uh, kanilang kalam ang lamang ng uh, stags into uh, four points. So tingnan natin kung anong uh, sagot ni Coach Rodney dito sa next play na ito. And Calisan, all first third personal foul, gets the ball, Costello, nakapunta kay Calisan, ibabalik kay Costello, and they break the press. Costello all the way, felt he was felt, gets the basket in for Ryan Costello. He now has five, and Coach Alden Ayo will talk things over. 51-45 and Costello, good second half so far. He now just has five. Kami po yung magbabalik dito lamang sa ABS-CBN Sports in Action. Ito lamang sa loob ng arena sa lungsod ng San Juan. Tingnan natin itong pagtawid ni Ryan Costello. And itong fast-paced guard, he will take it all the way against his fellow small guard na si Mark Gross for that strong drive for his fifth point today. And this strong move is brought to you by Smart Live the Smart Life. Yes, yeah, six-point lead para dito San Sebastian. But interesting stat, Dre, you know? Before uh, this game, ang pinakamalaking deficit ng Letran was only two points. And uh, I think hindi pa sa second half yun. But uh, in today's game, itong San Sebastian, inalabangan na itong letra ng 10 points. Although now, down to 6. So it, it's going to be interesting kung paano mag-a-adjust itong si Coach Aldin Ayo, rookie Coach Aldin Ayo, 
especially dito sa napakaagang season natin sa NCAA Season 91. Mabigat ko, Coach Olsen, Ryan Costello ay tatawagan ng kanyang pang-apat na personal foul. At walang uh, choice doon si Coach Rodney kung hindi ilabas itong si Costello na feeling niya hindi nabangga niya si Mark Cruz pero hindi naman daw foul but he has to sit on the bench for four personal fouls. Pero malaking bagay yung katulad si Moderator si uh, Costello is uh, big factor yan sa pag-break ng press nitong uh, San Sebastian against his press of Letran. So without him, tignan natin kung paano mag adjust itong uh, San Sebastian stag. Kano na patikit si Ray ng Batak katawagan ng second personal foul, second team foul of Letran. Jam or Tuesday, binalik na sa sahig ni Coach Rodney to play the point guard position without the foul trouble. Itong si uh, Castelo. Tinatanong ni Eman, may boyfriend na po ba? Si Roxanne. Ask ko lang po. Roxanne, pwede ba nating sabihin kung uh, may boyfriend ka ba? Tanongin natin kay Roxanne mismo ang sasagot nun. Roxanne, pinapatanong ni Eman palad kung may boyfriend ka. Roxanne? Wala, wala. Yata si Roxanne. Walang Ako boyfriend. na lang sasagot. Ikaw sasagot? <laughs> Dems, si Roxanne, 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 Roxanne. Oh. Basket na may bangga pa para dito kay Mike Kalisaan. He will head to the line for a possible three-point play. Tignan natin, Brad Pinto. Pinasakay or Tuesday na hanap si Kalisaan down low. Nasaktan na. Nakapuntos pa itong si Mike Kalisaan. And Kalisaan now has 13. Perfect at the line so far. And in season 91, 73% free throw shooter itong si Mike Kalisan, he now has 14 today. My favorite nito si Kalisan na magtapos ng kanilang break, the fast break, and of course, we're very good also with offensive rebounding, second chance points. Good ng hapon kay Pat Kando. Thank you for watching us on ABS Event Sports in Action. Supporting for San Sebastian, Cruz fires away. Wala pa kasi si Mark Cruz. So malaman ilan na ang ginagawa ni Mark Cruz mula sa labas after hitting his first attempt from the outside. At mula sa labas ng Jam or Tuesday. Ang layo nun. Pero after hitting that uh, half-court heave kanina to end the first half, Eh, parang malapit na lang yung tinira ni, <laughs> ni Jamil or Tuesday doon. 54 to 45. Lamang pa rin ng Nueve itong sa Sebastian. No team has led as much as this against Letran. Mark Cruz still firing away. Pukol lang pukol mula sa labas si Mark Cruz who has the green light, Kevin Rakal. And that's the rare easy two points for Letran inside. Bola, babalik sa Letran. With that aggressive defense ni Ray Nambatak. Mark Cruz is already 1 of 8 from the outside today. 4 of 13 para sa labas itong San Sebastian. At nasa mikropo na itong si Roxanne. Pinapatanungan ni Eman Palad kung may boyfriend kilaw. Roxanne. Meron na po, unfortunately. But, well, not unfortunately. But I'm unfortunately so for them. But not for you, Roxanne. <laughs> Fortunately for me. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yan. Sabay camp yung agad si Roxanne. Okay. Buti na bawi mo, Rox. Baka nanonood si Jello ngayon ang uh, boyfriend ni Roxanne. Sabi yung bakit unfortunately maging tahilan pa ng away, no? At Emma, nasagot na nga ni Roxanne. Thank you, Rox. Thank you also. Unfortunately. <laughs> Nakuha na nga ni Mark Cruz ang kanyang pangalawang tres. At traveling ay tatawag kay Brad Ginto dito. Naibaba na ang kalamangan ng San Sebastian to four. Coach Olsen because Pero of that three-point shot from Mark. Uh, si Brad Gito was called for a traveling uh, play that time. Mm -hmm. Pero mas gusto, I'm sure mas gusto ng Stags na yung traveling call na yun kaysa sa offensive foul <laughs> na hinihintay nila. Because uh -oh. if he was called for that uh, offensive foul, eh, pang-apat na rin ni Brad Gito. So mas and gusto na nila yung traveling na yun. Nabanggit mo nga yung pang-apat na foul, mabigat yun. At habang uh, papasok na ulit, dito sa sahig natin itong si uh, Jason David 
ay ilalabas muna si Mike Calisan who is performing so well for Coach Rodney. Binigyan ng high five ni Coach Rodney. Binalik na sa laro. Coach yeah. Olsen, ito Pinapagsab si Ryan Costello. Oh, pinapagsaw natin fourth foul. Ito si Ryan Costello, binalik na having four fouls. Another gamble for Coach Rodney Santos. Pero yung sinasabi natin kanina, ito si Costello. Ang sagot nila dun sa press ng Letran. So, Coach Rodney feels na Sunod-sunod yung turnover sila off that press. Kaya Speaking binalik na ito Ayun nga, si pero Costello. Naipit, Coach O. Itong si Costello. Pero minte si Apple ko doon. Naitatawid ni Costello. Tumatakbo. Nahanap si Jerry Fabian. On the wing, Jerry Fabian. Ayun yung decision making na sinasabi natin na nabibigay ni uh -oh. Costello. On that break, he waited for the perfect moment para ibigay yung bola kay Fabian. Kaya all Fabian had to do there was to uh, uh, shoot the basketball. And finish for his ninth point today courtesy of that assist. From Ryan Costello, who has four fouls. Ganda naman ng basa doon. Jason David, Costello. Nag-isip pa kung tatakbo, but Costello pops one, is good! Ilista mo na pa kay Costello, seven points today. At yan ang rason kung bakit nag-gamble itong si Coach uh, Rodney Santos. And uh, bringing back to si Costello with uh, four fouls and back-to-back -back, uh, baskets. Ang, uh, dahil ang, re ang responsible doon, ito si Costello. This is the first time that we've seen Litran having a hard time defending on the transition and also executing their offense. Muntikan pa doon, lumabas yung bola, Luib, na nasa corner with three to shoot. Si Mark Cruz Luib, does he know? Shot clock winding down and credit that zone defense employed by Coach Rodney Santos. Ang ginagawa talaga ni Coach Rodney, changing up on defense. Employing oh, that 2-3 you know? uh, zone defense na pakita niya. And more importantly, ang, ang nangyayari is si Coach Rodney kinokontrol yung pace nung laro. Kung napansin mo, Dre, hindi, hindi masyadong up and down, up and down oh, na nakita natin sa first three games ng Letran. Tama, tama. Medyo pigil ang laro pigil, ng Letran. Pigil, hirap, yes. hindi makascore sa loob, hindi Be nila... And because of that uh, defense na, na game plan ni Coach Rodney Santos. Balasan ng tao. At stepping out of bounds si Ryan Costello Nilabas na nga si Macjur Luib, Mark Cruz At Felix Apricu So JP Calvo back on the floor Bong Quinto is also on the floor Jom Soliano, Rey ng Batak and Kevin Racal Points in the paint, 28 for San Sebastian 22 for Letran And now Letran is being more patient Executing their offense Quinto going inside The kick out, JP Calvo Make that ng Batak Wala si Rey ng Batak mula sa labas. Costello, umatake. Nahanap si Jason wow. David. Ang ganda naman nun, Coach Olsen. Oh, kitang-kita ni Costello na yun eh. Nung pagpaba niya ng bola, medyo tinignan niya on, the, on his left. Nakita niya ang lilibre yung uh, kanyang teammate. Pero binigyan niya pa ng isang segundo, dalawang segundo, bago niya binigyan yung assist na yun. Malaking bagay talaga itong si Costello. But Ginto, oh. finding an opening, scoring inside. Walo ang alamangan pa rin ng San Sebastian. Off and running pa rin. And ito ito mo, nadadagdagan yung kumpiyansa nitong San Sebastian ngayon in oh, breaking eh. that press of uh, Letran. Hindi lang si Costello, pati si Fabian ay nagdadala na ng bola. Letran getting a taste of their own medicine. Bong Ginto has all week to shoot. Patay ang butiki doon. And Ortuzzi, eh, bibigay kay Costello. Medyo hindi nagkasundo yung dalawang guardia ng San Sebastian. Sabi ni Coach Rodney, teka lang, jump. Because they had the opportunity of uh, the last shot there. As we see itong layup ni uh, Papian, Papian no? going all the, way. all the way. Sabi mo nga, Coach Olsen, talagang ito the heart of the defense of Letran, ng Batak. And tingnan natin ang fast break points natin, Coach 18 to 8 namang ng sampo and time winding now Costello with 10 with the 4 personal fouls hindi inupo ni Coach Rodney Santos then hindi mo matatawaran yung isang Ryan Costello Mark Cruz and company trailing but it has been Costello and the Stags could it be the first loss of Letran? We will see fourth and final quarter coming up lamang ng sampo itong San Sebastian kami pagbabalik dito lamang sa NCAA Season 91